Hey guys, uh, we're back live. If people were wondering whether or not the casting was live, you basically just got to see it in action. So the stream went down a little bit, but we're now back on live. <laughs> I just had to get the OJ. I tripped on the cable and, and doing so. I'm sorry about that, guys. It's no big deal. You spilled the OJ? No, I had to get some, and I tripped on the network cable on my way to get oh, some. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. I will let well, you know this time. Turn one manworm is no surprise. Coin bomber. Um, I mean, he wants to kill the manworm. I guess that's fair. No, not even a Maz RNG can do that, though. All right, so we're I believe on... it's um, it's like three and a half percent or so to kill something specific with three life. Three and a half percent, even if there's only yeah. one, uh, one minion on the board besides yeah. us. So like one in one in thirty. Really. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, we do see that Frost will be in use, and that's exactly the power of the Mana Worm, just stacking damage as much as possible. And Paladin still has a hard time dealing with it until they just have direct damage with, like, the True Silver. Yeah, and imagine if Frostbolt wasn't played, you know, you get a freebie with the um, RNG Protector. Yeah, that would have been really nice, but now Raynad does have, uh, well, he does have the Ooze here to play. Nothing else. No, you can't play the Ooze against the Paladin. Here the play is to um, to ping the doggy and just attack mm -hmm. face, and you force That's the opponent right. to attack him to you. Yeah, because you pretty are pretty much sure that they're going to play something like true silver and stuff. So keeping the ooze is really important. Playing the ghoul. Yeah, not bad. Get that four three on board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I don't think this is going to warrant a polymorph yet. I mean, paladins don't have that many powerful tricks. Um, I think Stormwind Knight is the appropriate play here. Yeah, because then the Gnomish Inventor will just die anyways and build a stronger flesh-eating ghoul. Or even yep. he can answer it too with a true silver or something like that and build it to a 5-3 mm -hmm. and even return damage back. So it is... And we're back. Right, so, so the predictable turn 4 here does end up happening, but that's where Raynad can kind of just surprise the opponent with the ooze immediately. And he also has the Razorfin Hunter to just kind of fill it out. Mm, yep. This is um, this is gonna get punished though. I mean, this is pretty brutal right now. Yeah, establishing a pretty intense board, but he does have a way to kill it off. But he's starting to fall behind, and he needs to kind of establish his board presence until he draws something like his flame strike or a cone of cold to stall for time. That's a nice pickup. Cone of cold will allow him to freeze the board, and yeah. Can even, he can actually trade for everything if he wanted to. Or is he? No, no, he'd be yeah. more damaged. Yeah. No, he, he can kill everything with the hero ability, Cone of Cold, and an attack. Uh, I believe. Right. I need to shrink Skype down a little bit. You're, you're blocking the oh, mic, no, Chris. He is. He is one off. He is one off, I think. <laughs> All right. But, um. I think he's also wondering if, um,. He can get away with leaving one of the minions up. The, the thing is, like, if you start pinging stuff here and you start trading, you tell your opponent you don't have flame strike, and um, that's going to make him flood the board. That's true. You're telegraphing uh, that you don't have the card, so they'll feel comfortable playing more minions. Mm. I think the play here is to trade the board for the worgen. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, the board for the worgen, ping the worgen, and I would even kill the um, the archer protector here. Yeah. Yeah, and you have because, the option to kill the ghoul too. Yeah, I mean, even if he pops a trick on the ghoul, you have a silence or a polymorph. I mean, you're you're all right. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Now he picks up an arm for a grizzly. Yeah. If okay. you're a Maz, you just want to dump your hand to drop a divine favor as fast as possible. I'm actually surprised to see the intensity in Amaza's face. Do you see that? He's like stone right now. He's, he's like this every Raynad, time. He's like, oh man, what's going on? Raynad just woke up and Amaz, he's been up forever, man. Trying to wait for this thing to happen. Amaz is pretty intense when he plays on online tournaments. Whether it's King of the Hills and stuff. No more smiles and funny faces. What to do? What to do? Um, so Raynad still wants to take care of this flesh-eating ghoul. He can use uh, his Stormwind Knight here to kind of break through. 
uh, and using his hero power, but then his board is still pretty weak by doing that. I think that's a good play. I'd like to storm one knight and attack um, the. Uh, that's good the silence it too, though. <laughs> nah, the silence is not worth it. Yeah. Storm I mean, one knight, literally the best. There's player. a lot better targets as well. So, Reynad probably thinks he's in good shape, but the Divine Favor uh, doesn't really pull him too far ahead. The issue with the Divine Favor is that both the other cards are terrible right now. Like that, <laughs> that Panda was really bad draw. Yeah. So he forced a trade there. But let's see what he picks up with his draws. Oh, Drake is really good. Even this Panda wasn't help. too bad. It, 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 could have been, it could have been much worse than the Panda. The Panda just forced him to trade, basically. Mm -hmm. Which he didn't really want to do, but it did, it did force it that way. Yeah. Now right now I can start pushing out minions back on the board, but this is the first time where he's able to establish himself because uh, Amaz with the flesh-eating ghoul was the one kind of press imposing on the board. It's pretty funny that chat says that um, it's too bad Amaz doesn't have anything worth polymorphing. <laughs> Yeah, Which, I guess uh, not, right? Well, yeah, he also has the, the, it's true. the Spellbreaker ping right here. Yep. Even though um, I had the Divine Favor, which is usually like game-winning, um, Rayhead is just getting such good value for every single card, and this is, um, this is exactly the reason why... Um, you do get countered if you play like a fast deck against the mage later on in arena. Right, and not to—I mean, he hasn't even used any of his insane, powerful cards against that style, like Flame Strike, either. So he has that eventually coming up in his deck. I think uh, here I would trade rather than ping because um, you're probably ahead with a Polymorph and a Pyro. You're in really good shape, and if you get greedy, ping the four-one. Um, you're still like. The 2 3 is going to die for free anyway. It really makes no difference. Yeah, and then the, the Tiger is pretty much capable of taking out whatever or even going uh, 2 for 1 here. Yeah, so um, impressive, impressive play there. This is something that's definitely not obvious. Uh, you, you have to think about that. And in Arena, Arena is not constructed. Like in Constructed, you, you kind of know your plays before they happen. Mm -hmm. But in Arena, you know, the situation is often very different. That's, everything's I don't like pretty that unique. Uh, Amaz just went all in. Yeah, this this is Amaz saying I'm going <laughs> all in. You don't have flame strike, and uh, I'm probably going to win because of it. And then here's flame strike. This is for typical it. arena fashion. And then now Amaz has absolutely no chance of winning the game. See you later. <laughs> right now, pretty <laughs> unapologetic for what just happened. And now Amaz has no answer to his tiger. He's going to be able to bash his face. For a couple well, he's got Equality Consecrate, which is the most brutal combo, but um, he, he still has to do very well with it. Mm -hmm. well, he will do very well with it. 5-5 five, five, and a 6-7. Yeah, killing but off funny enough, he, he has to do better than that still. Yeah, because he still has to answer, draw something to put pressure on the board, but he draws a Hand of Protection instead. <laughs> well, right now he's at 4 life because of the Pyro as well. Mm -hmm. And if he picks up a fireball or something, Raynat has his win condition set. There's, there's still no way Amaz can win, even though that was a very good uh, way to deal with the board. <laughs> oh, look oh, at what? that! Stop decking the fireball! Yeah. Man. And uh, Raynat, I think he doesn't really matter too much. I think not many people run like Holy Light, but maybe Guardian of Kings can come out as well. Guardian of Kings is a very powerful uh, card, yep. It would have came out already, though, but... Now, uh, Amaz, he doesn't know any better, but he's dead. <laughs> I think he knows he's dead. If, if you get fireballed by a mage... To the face? Yeah. If you're at 8 life and you don't get pinged, you know you're dead. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so Reynad takes the game and the series. It's a best of one and moves on to play, I believe, Tides of Time. His teammate and Amaz will drop down to the lower bracket. Uh, and we're going to get ready for the second match between Hafu and Masan. But before we do that, do you have any kind of closing thoughts on what we just saw, Chris? Uh I think the outcome was fairly predictable. 
Um, I think Amaz took a risk to try to uh, just burn down uh, Raynad's mage deck. And, um, I mean, what happened there is what happens every time in my experience. You play that fourth creature, and then that flame strike goes from the middle of the deck right to the top. And right. uh, your dreams get <laughs> It's crushed. like Blizzard knows, right? Or a mind yeah. control tech or something that just, like, ruins your yeah. day completely. Yeah, absolutely. So Amaz isn't out of it yet for anybody who's, uh, well, for the thousands of fans in chat trying to ask for it. I am not Amaz, but... He will be playing later, but you'll find out his opponent after we find out the next couple of matches. Uh, before we do that, though, we are going to take a quick word from our sponsors. So when we come back, we're going to have more action from Lord of the Arena. Stay tuned. <laughs> 